Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Disgaea PC. This is the first, well, I guess technically this is the second. Well, it's a recording, guys and gals. This is a recording, one of the first recordings I've done on the new computer. I still have a lot of settings and things to tweak and fiddle with over the course of probably the next few weeks. But we're here, we're on the new computer, everything seems to be fine. Uh, I did lose, the only thing I know for a fact that I've lost is I lost my progress on, what uh, surprises me by the way, on Total War Warhammer. I'm not sure why that didn't cloud save. That was not something I expected not to have cloud saving. So, yeah, that's gone. So, that kind of sucks, but, eh, we'll see. I know Mutanot has expressed interest in getting it, and he is getting a new computer himself here soon, so we'll probably play a co-op campaign from there. Anyway, let's continue on with Disgaea, shall we? I have a ton and a half of stuff to do today and tomorrow and probably for the rest of my life, so let's get to it, shall we? Fervent Melody. I don't know if I've actually played this yet. Eh, we'll see. Nope. Does not look familiar at all. So this is all new. I haven't seen any of this stuff yet. It's past the scheduled time and still no word from Gordon. Apparently, even the Defender of Earth was no match for the Overlord. He's not the real Defender of Earth. If you had just left it to me, I would have been done ages ago. Are you still carrying on about that? You need to be more insightful, Curtis. It doesn't really matter to me whether he wins or loses. His mission ended as soon as he opened up a route to the Netherworld. Slaying the Overlord was just a pretext. Hmm, they're nothing but pawns to you, huh? What an ugly way of saying it, Curtis. I prefer to call them the heroes who sacrificed their lives for the Earth. <laughs> Gordon wouldn't die so easily. Only I, Curtis, can defeat him. I bet he beat the Overlord already and is enjoying a picnic right now going la la la. La la la. Ha 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 ha. I never thought that picnicking in the netherworld would be so delightful. Is this guy really a hero? I'm not really one to say, but I always thought a hero was a bit more dignified. This guy's just a fool. No, a true hero hides his real identity from the world, pretending to be quiet or weak. Then, when someone needs to be saved, he appears admirably to uphold justice. That's right, isn't it? Well, I... I guess. La la la. You sure? He looks like he doesn't have a care in the world. La la la. All right. They're falling for my plan. Now, all I have to do is just play along until I can make a run for it. Your continued existence hinges on an incredibly unstable balance. Do you understand? I am aware of that. Then please take better care of yourself. I would like to, but I cannot leave them on their own. My power is not limitless. Please, do not forget that. <laughs> Alright, so, let's see what the new stuff has to offer. I have no idea how my sound settings are going to be, guys and gals. If my voice is going to be weird or unweird or... I, I, I've got nothing. Okay, so it looks like we're in for a bit of trouble here as... We have invincibility across the board, and no lifting. Which pretty much means that we cannot actually fight anywhere except on the little lava blobs, I guess? Which is fine, I suppose. Um, uh, well, whatever. I guess we'll go stand here with him. A level of these guys. 34? Ah, we should be fine. We could probably put Etna up here as well, uh, maybe. Hmm. She can't quite make it, and we can't throw anyone, so that's kind of annoying. Well, I suppose we'll move her over here. I mean, folks are invincible, so I guess we can start positioning them however we'd like. 
Nothing, sa nothing that says we can't maneuver around to try to get a better spot to get in this mirror there. I'm kind of tempted to send somebody down toward where Laharl is, but at the same time, I feel that if I do that, it's actually going to cause us more problems than it's going to fix. But, well, it looks like we're going to be okay over here. Alright, so with that, I guess this is where we're going to start. Let's end the turn, and let's see if we can get a few folks to come join us. Good. Soul Eater, that looks bad. He seems to have eaten our souls for very little damage. Cannonball! It does zero damage. It's going to say it does more, but it, it really doesn't. I think those guys are full of hot air. That's what I think. That's what I think. Real nice or something. I've got nothing. Alright, so this should be pretty easy. I'm going to maneuver down here. We're going to go ahead and get... Oh, let's go with Antros. Antros needs some love. Let's go ahead and put Antros over here. And go ahead and attack Old Strawberry. And then the strawberry counterattack, and then the counter counter. Well, that actually didn't do. Oh, you know what? Antros doesn't have any equipment. That was awkward. All right. Um. Let's go ahead and use our meteor impact, but not yet. Let's move you out of the way and then use our meteor impact. I know it's amazing, isn't it? All right. So let's execute that. Let's see what it does. Should be good. Should be good. And of course we're going to hit our own guy, but he's invincible, so it's not really going to be an issue, and there it is. Alright, so that's a thing that has happened. Um, I don't know, I suppose we can move her over here. We can get Planaire to come down over here. And then we can move Etna and Leo, I guess, technically. Though it does seem a bit silly. Alright, special Tiger Charge attack, because why not? Uh, well, the reason why not first is that we will need to attack with good old Et. So there we go, so Etna has done her job, now we can do the Tiger Charge of Doom. EXECUTE! You skittle me. I will need to skittle me. And we can go after Cognac, Cognac, or Con Cognac, there we go, that's how, you, that's how you'd say it. And then we'd shoot them and, yeah, victory and stuff. It's, it's fine. All right, so with that... I, well, I mean, I, you didn't really do much, buddy. I mean, I, I guess we could probably put you, like, over here, but... To what end? I don't know. It's a tad underwhelming with the Soul Eater stuff for like literally everyone that he's uh, trying to attack so that's a thing I guess um, we'll move here can we get Dendra? no we can't alright we're gonna put Dendra away I guess we'll move over here we'll get Spazman himself up over there and then good old Harl or Harley as it were we'll send you over here and, yeah, something like that. And end the turn, they're going to come forth, and they're going to die. Oh, I forgot about Leo. He's so small. He is so small. I forgot about him. It's fine. Ooh, look at that. Big hit. Did nothing. Literally did... Aw, oh, really? You're wounded or hurt or some such nonsense? Alright, well, I will espoir you... Spear. Spear. We're going to execute. What we're going to do is we're going to get on the other side of him. We're going to knock him into range. After we murder his friend, I guess, is going to be the play. Alright, let's attack Cognac. Eh. Medium. Attack again. There we go. Move behind you somehow. I, that seems very weird. Okay, well, whatever works. Get wrecked. 
Alright, so we pushed him off of the problem area. Moved him there. There's not really much you can do. I guess we could attack over here. See chaos impact. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know if it's gonna be enough, so let's go see if we can't throw good old Slade into position to do a little bit of extra damage. Time for fun, ladies and gentlemen. There's the blasts, the impact, and victory. Maybe. Or close to victory. Wait. How did... Maybe he didn't take damage? It looked like he took damage from that. I'm not gonna lie. It looked like uh, Zap took some damage there. I could be wrong, but... I don't know. Alright, let's get treated. I still have a whole bunch of money I haven't played uh, due to the fact that I was getting the computers up and running and whatnot. So my wife finally has a computer again. She has my old beast that has served me for about three years now. And we're here with a new beast that hopefully serves me for four to five years. Though I'll probably end up upgrading maybe the, maybe the power supply and also the video card before this one uh, goes the full nine yards and we replace it, so... Good stuff all around, folks. All right, Wasteland of Woe. Hey, what's wrong, Master? You're not having fun? I thought kids loved picnics. The sky is blue. The weather is perfect. Come on, let's sing. I'm not a kid. I'm 1,313 years old. And mentally, I'm much more mature than you two. Mature? I think you two are about the same. For your information, I'm 1,470. I'm, um, fairly young. Young? How old is young? Young is young. You're an angel, aren't you? Tell the truth. 1,509? What? You're older than me? <laughs> you old hag! I'm not old. That's amazing. No one would think you're that old. Hmm. That's why humans act so foolishly. They judge solely on looks. Ooh, you talk big. Then you shouldn't mind my body, right? Uh, w well, um... I'm getting hungry. Let's see. <laughs> Changing the subject, huh? I'll let it slide this time. Here's the picnic basket. On guard! Ah, oh, the picnic basket! It has been a while, mademoiselle. The sweet smell of these entrees has led moi all the way here. Hey, mid-boss! Give us back our food! No, 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 no. I cannot oblige. For moi, a widower, this handmade lunch is like an oasis in a desert. I cannot give it back. You return after all this time and for a stupid reason like this? Mr. Midboss, you don't have anyone to make lunch for you? Poor thing. Stop pitying moi. That sends a sharp pain to my heart. Hold it right there. Mid-boss, was it? That picnic basket is mine. Give it back now. Hmm, you are human, are you not? That's right. They call me Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. And why is the Defender of Earth picnicking with demons? Sh shut up! I'm not here because I want to be. Very well! I shall test your resolve, O oh Defender of Earth! Now! Can you retrieve this basket from moi? <laughs> hey, you! Wait! It's so pathetic that we put up with that idiot! Yeah, it is. Alright, some more mid-boss murder action, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, ooh, dragons, hello, Gabbit, Roxanne, and others. Um, oh, mid-boss decided not to stick around. 
Well, the good news is, it doesn't look like we have to worry about any of the ridiculous, uh... Oh, you can't move out or attack anybody! Da ha ha! So, that's good, at least. Um, yeah, and junk and stuff, it'll be fine. It will be fine. I promise you, it will be fine. Um, hmm... Let's see exactly how strong our pretty raid is going to be. Should I just want to check? We'll see straight up what it is, and then we'll move our other crew into it. It'll be glorious in sweet, sweet, nice style. Alright, enough to kill. Nice. Alright, Mr. Zap. Should probably use Slade, but eh, we'll use Zap. Laharl. Lift. Throw! And move. Alright, theoretically, this, with the Overlord's Wrath, should hit yeah too. We don't have, like, another spot now. Hmm. Well, hmm, that might actually work too. Special Overlord's Wrath. Oh, there we go. I knew I'd find a good spot. Alright, prepare to get wrecked. Alright, so the dust has been bit, and they are no longer alive, and we're feeling pretty darn good. Ooh, we leveled up off of that too, nice. What level is that? What is that? 60. Is he our first 60? I think he is. I don't think anyone's, anyone else is even close. I think Bumpy might have been one of the closer ones. Yeah, 57. Alright. What do we have here? We have a Samuel, who we must slaughter, and it's a wind person. I think what we're going to use is Butch. Now, Butch has grown in leaps and bounds as of late. He's got Giga Wind, which is pretty good. We're going to try to do a little bit of murder there, I suppose. We can have ours. Oh, she's going to be short. That's unfortunate. What about Liara? She's going to be short too, but... She does have her blade... Oh, she doesn't have the blade brush. Alright. Well... What about a slate-assisted Arzla? Eh? Eh? We'll go ahead and we'll throw her on down here. And she will use her skull-splitting, murder-death-killing maneuver to do a little bit of murder. And then we're gonna I go ahead and execute. Kick a wind! And dead. Alright, so that was easy. And one, two, three, and four. You're also dead. Officially, superficially, semi-officially, I don't know. There's lots of fish involved, that's all I know. Alright, so we're gonna go with you. We're gonna get Kimiera and Katie out on the field. Kimiera can go over here, and Katie come over here. Oh, then what does that leave us? Uh, we still have Melody. She's okay. Um, uh, Flan, Dendra, Leo. Flanair. Uh, Flan's the underwhelming one. Alright, we'll send Flan over here. Alright, and with that, let's end the turn. Now let's see what the next maneuver is. The dragon attacked me. Not a good play. Counterattack. Huh. I kind of expected Laharl to counter. That was kind of underwhelming. Alright, we're going to go ahead with our Violent Storm. If we cast it in the right direction, it will be glorious and sweet and sweet and nice. Move over here. We're going to go ahead and use the Holy Arrows. And we'll see how that all plays out soon. Over here, we will use our Skull Splitter once again. Completely annihilating this fool. And 1200? Yeah, 1200 damage. Super dead dragon. Alright, what are we looking at here? We are looking at a super dead other individual and another super dead individual. It's fine. We're kind of crushing it, folks. We're a little bit over leveled. And by a little bit, I mean we are massively over leveled for our current situation. No. Yes. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. Alright, let's lift and throw and throw and lift. 
All right, special hurricane, no. Special blade rush, yes. Shouldn't kill, might though. That was close. All right, so what do we have now? We have a good old Lord Sladington. I come over here and I, I don't. I hate when I do that. It's not really the, the best way to do things anyway. Um, uh, I don't really have a solution to our problem right here. What do I mean by that? Well, it's quite simple really. I mean, we don't have a way of doing the thing that we need to do. All of our fire spells, yeah, because we're not using, yeah, that's fine. Well, I guess we just flat attack you. Um, I guess you can move casual styles over this way. Have anyone left? We do not. Fortunately, Bush, Bush, Bush can't do much, or Bush apparently. All right, our shield's only level two. Let's see if we can't up that a little bit. There we go. Casually come over here, and yeah, you've already done your deed. All right, let's end our turn. Here goes. That's about all we've got. Definitely unfortunate, but eh, it is what it is. Oh, the dragons are like, nope. Demon's breath. That smells awful. Yeah. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves some espuar. And go ahead and execute the vault. And then we're going to go send our crew on over. Unfortunately, good old Harley is super farly away. I guess the quickest way is to go back through here. Etna, however, does have some capabilities here. We'll just poke the dragon. Good old Gabbit. There we go. Uh, Slade, buddy. What you got for me? Let's see here. Item. Oh, that's right, we didn't... Uh, I never fixed that, did I? Bad Bumpy is bad, folks. Bad Bumpy is bad. Logan is also bad and dead, so there's that. 46 versus 42. Let's end it with a 42. Special Hurricane slash, yes. Go with that. We'll move on up here. Can't quite reach. That is okay, and there is a reason for that being okay, but I will not share that just yet. Gonna move you over here, going to lift you, going to throw you. And then heck, I don't I don't know what to do with you, buddy, but there you are. Alright, so let's lift Arzla and throw her as far up there as we can. We'll go after the dragon on the back side, and we'll come up here and we'll go after the dragon on the front side. I don't know. I guess. Alright, let's end the turn. Let's see what happens. The hurricane slash should be more than enough. And indeed it was. Follow that up with this follow-up. Double green dragon murder, not enough. That's good. I like that, I like that. Okay, so a bit underwhelming, and then we shot our own person. So, good stuff all around. Alright, they're gonna go for some sort of retaliatory dealie. Blue Nova. This has got some potential to be that's fine. I wasn't wrong. Though it was also kind of underwhelming at the same time, so there's that. Alright, let's move here. Let's move here. Let's go ahead and lift and throw. Let's go over here. Come on. Special. We have Giga Heal. And there it is. And I guess casual stabs. It'll be fine. We'll execute. That now we'll get a casual stab off. We'll do a tremendous amount of healing, and we'll be looking pretty solid. 37, yes, the 37 is definitely the better 
We go for one, two, and three, and we'll say good day to thee. You are dead. Okay, we're gonna move up here. We're gonna move up here. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to use our uh, blade rush. Out of my way. And yeah, shouldn't be enough to kill. Good, it wasn't. And with finality, we should be able to come up over here and put you in the ground with a regular basic attack. I might be overstating. We'll see. Nope, that was plenty. Alright, so there it is. Decent amount of money for what it is and everything else that goes with it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Today is going to be a super busy day. I have a whole bunch of stuff to do. Matchups against Colonel RPG, a bunch of recordings I haven't gotten to yet. The Triple P series needs to uh, an influx of episodes and videos. I haven't got to play much of anything over the last two to three days. And I still get to record and finish off the last of my voice acting uh, lines. So, pretty bummed out about that whole situation. And in all honesty, I haven't actually been able to give it much attention. I've been super busy and haven't even really been had access to a computer, let alone been able to do anything lately. So, we'll see. So, I'll see if I can't finish up my last two lines for that, and then we'll go from there. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, well, stick around the channel. There'll be plenty more to come. I'm going to continue to push to get Disgaea done before January comes around. That way, when Disgaea 2 releases on PC, we can actually go and actually play it and have fun with it. Or be horribly saddened and just have no fun whatsoever. Which is also a very real and terrifying possibility but hopefully not the possibility that we're going to utilize. So there you have it, folks. That is that, and, well, with that, folks, I will see you next time with more Disgaea PC. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.